Hi, my name is Deborah Temkin. I'm the Senior Director of Education Research at Child Trends. The definition of bullying really varies. If you look at policy versus research versus asking kids or parents themselves what the definition of bullying is, they'll tell you different things. And this matters. A child can feel bullied even if it doesn't line up to the definition a school has in their policy. And we need to remember this because bullying can be a traumatic event whether we agree a child has been bullied or not. If a child feels bullied, we need to address it. We can't just dismiss the experience because it doesn't align with our policy and doesn't align with what we think bullying should be. What that means is we have to approach those children with a trauma-informed lens. We need to validate their experience. We need to say that we understand that they feel hurt. We need to work with them to figure out how they can feel safe in their environments again, and we need to work with them to be transparent about any actions that we're taking about with other students. We need to assure them that we know that they feel hurt and we're going to do something about it. We need to work with them to figure out what's going to make them feel safe again, and we need to be transparent about what we are doing to solve the situation. Now, I know we can't necessarily tell them if we are punishing another student, but we need to explain when we cannot take action under our policies. If their experience doesn't align with the definition of bullying held within your school's policy, we need to tell them why and tell them that even though their situation doesn't fit that definition, we're still going to do something about it.